Hi guys, Mike Rue here. This is my From Nothing to Next series where we do three days and we try to get to next from nothing, Iron Man style, and try and kill next to be the first person to get a drop and I'll be going against Miss Liddles who's another streamer. I'll leave the link in the description to the video I made detailing all of the rules of this challenge if you don't know what's going on. So this is day one and this is gearing and getting all the supplies ready for next. Let's get right into it. Gonna pickpocket the Kadan workers and the Ireworth ones because if I pickpocket these two it will give me super potions so these give me super magics and super ranges. The Ireworth ones give me super attack strength and defense. That will go towards overloads eventually because we have to make the overloads from scratch. Once we have a little bit of GP and both of these clans have caught us while we're waiting for the cooldown we'll go get our RD cape, we'll go get our desert amulet, sit phase circuit rings, stuff like that so we can actually start getting some gear together. Then we'll see how it goes, I don't know. And then we need to pickpocket these ones to get the super attacks, defenses, and strengths. Then once we've done that, we'll go get some items. We've now been caught here, which means we're going to go to Yanil to get our RD cloak. I lost it. Give it. There we go. Easy. It was. Did it not even cost money? All right, fair enough. Probably should have got that sooner. Mistakes were made? Question mark? I don't know. All right, we need our desert amulet back. Give me it. Lost it. Thanks, dude. Boys, 6 a circuit ring, we got this. All right, we've got good stuff now. Desert Amulet gives 30 all. RD Cloak gives 21 all. Six a circuit gives 12 armor and 21 all. Uh, we need to go get like a Blisterwood weapon, I guess. But we don't really need a weapon right now. But it would be beneficial, so let's go get one. Make some money. Right, okay, let's uh, search the coffin. Yes, I want my Dragon's Medallion back. Thank you very much. Now we can teleport to Darkmire, get a Blisterwood Staff. That means we'll have pretty much all the bonuses that we need. We just need to get some armor and stuff. I don't know whether to use Mage or Range to start. Um, I'm thinking about making Lunar Armor and going for Mage rather than Range with the Sun Spear. So let's make a Blisterwood Staff. So we're going to claim our... Wicked Hood. G give me my Wicked Hood. All right, cool. So we'll activate it. We'll teleport to Air Altar. I'd say Air Runes are the most important to make. So let's go teleport to the Air Altar. So right click, withdraw Essence, make loads of Air Runes, and then we can claim some free Nature Runes as well. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. And then we need to buy some Fire Runes from shops and some more Air Runes from shops and stuff. So we'll get stocked up on runes and everything like that. But we'll go to Baby Aga's house. We'll buy some nature runes from here. It's going to cost us quite a lot of money. That's 111k. We can't buy all of those. We'll buy uh, 150 for now. That's way enough Alps. And we'll buy some air runes. And we'll buy some fire runes. And now we have 3k GP. Let's go kill some stuff. So we made a new tab with everything. We have our stuff from pickpocketing. We have like our Dragon's Medallion, our Wicked Hood. So we're building up a tab now and we gave it a little like Dungeoneering token thing. So it's like a loot tab for the cosmetics. Cosmetics are important, guys. So not only are we getting our super potions, we're getting a Sharky Boys. We need Sharky Boys to survive. So the Sharky Boys we're getting from this pickpocketing will do us for the start and that'll be a good start in supply. We do need to get some prayer pots or super restores somehow, but we can use auras, so like penance aura and stuff would make sense. So we gotta go to gargoyles. Let's go to Canafis. We've got a debuff right now and we have to walk for another two minutes. That means we're walking over to gargoyles, boys. Let's go make some money. I need to quickly bank these and then go get some money. Get my outs out. Make some money at gargoyles. We're at 137k. Gonna get 600k at gargoyles in pure cash so we can buy a sun spear. Have you seen a more iconic duo? Conga walk and Trevor. It's like cuteness overload. I can't take it, guys. I think I'm gonna, like, explode. Don't forget our Slayer contract. Look at that. 65k coins for killing 165 gargoyles. Let's go, boys. Get some money. We can start running again. Thank God. So we'll get rune arrows we can sell to the store in Kaffa B. We'll get all of these bars we can make stuff with an Alk. And we get Alk's actual items like when it's rune and stuff. And we'll Alk those. Man, Gargoyles are going to be an easy 600k, guys. Easy 600k. We have full prayer points so we can just activate Soul Split here and there. Use a threshold or two. Heal up and then take it off and just try and save as much prayer as possible and not die. Something that's going to come in super handy. Talking to the lady of like, give me my Enhanced Excalibur back. 500 GP. Thank you. Right, so now we can just activate that and gain some HP while we're at the gargoyles. So we can stay there for a bit longer. We're at 442k. We're going to finish this contract. We have like 80 more kills. Then we're going to go buy a Sun Spear and go to Firewatch. Right, there we go. We have 600k cash, lads. Let's go get that Sun Spear and let's go do some Firewatch. This is going to be very, very good. I'm happy. 
So uh, let's sell our rune arrows. How much? 73k. That's pretty good. We're at nearly 800k cash, lads. Hey, dude, let's get Sun Spear, the reform spear. 600k. Sure thing, my dude. Let's change that one to magic. And now we have a tier 78 magic weapon. We have the gear and we need to get some type of offensive gear for magic. Right, we need to speak to this, I don't know how to say this name, Onariomancer? Nice, dude. Buy back our stuff. Can we get our stuff back? Well, of course. I'll give it to you. Yes, I'll pay that. It cost us 232k for all of that. Now we can wear our Luna gear and we can actually do DPS. Let's go to Firewatch. Look at us. That updated character model, you know? Best character model in game. It's definitely not stuck in like 2007, but yeah. Sick, boys. We're getting some good seeds, boys. All right, so we got... A Dwarf Weed Seed, Lantodime Seed, Toadflax Seed. What I think I need to focus on is Torstal Seeds, Lantodime Seeds, and Toadflax Seeds. Lantodimes for Super Anti-Fires, Toadflax for Bruise, and Torstals for Overloads. And then we can go on like a run of herbs every like hour and 20 minutes. Set ourselves a little reminder. Make overloads and supplies every single time we do that. It's going to come in so handy. We need to do that. So we may or may not have survived on 100 HP because we ran out of food at Firewatch. That was entertaining. We just got our first torso drop. That's two overloads right there. Two overloads pretty much. We just need to go get a couple of different items for the extremes. We did an hour at Firewatch. We got a lot of different herbs that we need to clean. We got some Aventos. We got some Snapdragons. The Snapdragons are going to be so good for those super restores and the Ranards for the prayer pots. We've got some Toad Flax for some Sarah Brews. We have some torsos for some overloads. We need to get more of those though. We have a Lantodime seed. We need to use that and plant that as soon as possible alongside the Toad Flax seed and the Dwarf Weed seeds. So let's go and take out the four Toad Flax seeds, the Lantodime seeds, and we're going to go do a farm run. Easy super compost from the Crywiz worker. We got seven. That will do for our farm run. We got this, guys. Look. Plant the lantodimes right here, and they're going to blossom into lovely lantodimes we can make super antivirus with. Cleaning all these herbs is going to be fun. I, I feel like I'm playing my hardcore Iron Man right now. That was the bane of my existence with my hardcore Iron Man. Cleaning herbs and putting them into vials of water. So horrible. Imagine not just buying unidentified stuff off the GE. Oh. So we're going to be trading this dude. We're going to buy some vial of water packs. There we go, 20k spent, 20k well spent. We have 2,000 vials of water, which will do us for the whole challenge. Now let's go make some unfinished potions, I guess. Time to make the super restores and the prayer pots. That way we have some super restores and prayer pots stocked up. Then we need to get the secondary ingredients for overloads and some more torstals. And then we need lantodimes for antifires. Then we need to get the super antifires made with all the different components and we need to go get you know crushed blue dragon scales and golden phoenix feathers so that's all in the agenda once we stocked up on supplies we're going to be going to qbd so that's going to be hype did someone say pickpocketing elves in prif is absolutely broken for supplies iron man's best like thing ever I'm getting the dragon scale dust for the anti-fires and I'm getting crushed nests for the brews and I'm getting snake grass for the prayer pots. Literally prayer pots, brews and anti-fires all from the same clan. It's perfect. Look at that guys. Sour Dobbin brews. The supplies are coming together. We're an Iron Man. Literally feel like an Iron Man right now making all of these. So Dark Beast give us some ores, some like Alka balls, like this room chain body that just dropped. That's a decent amount of money. Then it gives us little herbs. So dwarf weeds, lantodimes, stuff like that are going to come in so handy. We need the lantodimes so we can go QBD to get supplies. So we're going to get a couple of lantodimes here. The dwarf weeds are helpful for the extreme strengths. There's so many different stuff we're going to do. And Dark Beast will be a bit of money as well towards the max cape. We need 2.7 mil for that. I'm very excited to do Dark Beast for a little while. Get some good stuff. They can even drop seeds as well. Some of the seeds they drop might be worth it as well. These drop mud runes, which is the ingredient for the extreme magics. And then the ingredient for the extreme rangings is gremwell spikes, and they drop that. I also get some potato cactus and stuff, so it's, it's not the worst. And they can also drop lantodimes, I believe. So if I can get lucky and get a lantodime, I'll be very, very happy boy. I never thought I'd be so excited to see a mud rune on the floor. 
<laughs> Give me 15. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we need to kill the ranger to try and get another Grenwell Spike drop. And then we're absolutely sorted. We've got 16 Grenwell Spikes and 15 Mud Runes. We're good. We got a couple of overloads there. That'll do for QBD farming. Then we'll come back and we'll get more later. Let's go do a little bit of QBD. Get some supplies. Yay. Let's pick this Desert Phoenix, get loads and loads of Super Antifire stacked up because we'll be doing a bit of QBD for a while. We could just pickpocket, you know, just... There we go, we're good. We'll keep those ones, and if we need them ever, we can just make them. So we use this on this. Make two Super Antifires. Now, we need to go get a Crystal Flask so we can make a Syrian Overload. Turn this 4-dose Overload and 4-dose Super Antifire into a 6-dose of both. Hey guys, did you know that we're an Iron Man, by the way? And uh, we need to mine the Crystal Flex Sandstone ourselves. And we don't actually have a Dragon Pickaxe on our tool belt, so we're slumming it with a Rune Pickaxe. We'll make the 50 flasks and that will do us for the whole challenge. That way we can make as many like Syrian overloads and stuff as we can. Right. Our familiar for this weekend is going to be a pack egg for pretty much everything we do. So let's open up the shop. Buy like a hundred yak hide or something. We've gathered a fair amount of charms from the dark beast. Some from the via watch and stuff because we've been doing a lot of PVM. So we can make about 25 yaks right now. QBD will give us enough like crimsons and blues if we ever want to use any blues to then continue to making yaks across the weekend if we do decide to do that so 25 yaks for now that will cover a lot of time and if we die a lot then that will cover that as well look at this beautiful searing overload oh there we go 24 pack yaks that will do us for now and we'll sell back the excess shards that we didn't use because they sell for the exact same price 25 gp now QBD, here I come. Are we ready, guys? We have to do this kill with an anime voice. So every single spell we cast is going to be an anime voicey boy. We got this. No, we forgot our air runes. No, what are we doing? Go back, 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 abort. All right, guys, take two. We haven't got our G staff yet. We should go get a G staff after this kill. We'll do two more kills and we'll get a G staff because that's going to help so much with QBD as well. We're going we're gonna to slap up QBD. We've got our Maniacal Aura on. We've got runes. We got this. All right, you ready? Uh, Dragon Breath and Wild Magical as Vixie. I don't know how to do an anime voice. I'm just making aggressive sounds. It's working though. Sonic Wave. <laughs> Actually, that's so good. It's normally a bad drop from QBD, but we got a Torstal Seed. Legacy mode for the next kill. Looks like we're doing two kills in Legacy, boys. This is the debuff that we have been given. Um, it's actually going pretty smooth. Uh, we're slapping up QBD. Look at that, 600? Hello? QBD, are you okay? Look, there we go. We can't search to the pillory, boy. Drink the Syrian Overload. Ow! No! <laughs> hey, Frank, how you doing? You are right, Frankie boy? I'm good, Frankie boy. I'm good. Oh, while we're here, we can buy some more nature runes, fire runes, and air runes. Nice. And we'll buy a couple of lore runes because we're going to need those later. Sounds good. Uh, let's buy a graphic staff. It is 80k. That's not too bad. There we go. We've got a G staff now, boys. All right, so we're on the hunt for any of the good ones. So we want herbs or Grenwell spikes. Both of those would be very good. We're just going to keep hopping worlds and just try and find the ones we need. All right, here we go. Divine box trap. Give us a couple of Grenwell spikes. Once we've got a couple of Grenwell spikes, I'll then move on to just doing herbs. So what, what do we want? Like another 10 or so Grenwell spikes and we'll be happy. 10 Grenwell Spikes. Now we'll hop until we find a Herb Patch and try and get some Torstals for Overloads. Divine Herb Patch free as well. That's the best one. Give me some Torstals. I think I'm just going to go like have a heart attack or something because that's so good. We've had three Lantadimes and three Torstals already. We have hit our gathering limit. Four Lantadimes and three Torstals. That's so many more Overloads. I'm so happy. We need some Sharky boys. So fishing seems like the best bet here. Here we go. So we've got Toad Flax coming in here. Toad Flax is amazing because obviously it makes our sorrow brews. But the main thing why we're harvesting these herbs is to plant that one Torstal seed we got. That one Torstal seed is going to fund many, many Overloads because that's the main component that we need. Torstals and lantern dimes are the hardest to get. So plant in the Torstal seed. Yeah, boy. And the amount of grimy toad flax I got from that. I got 13 grimy toad flax. That's awesome. 13 sour bruises, did anyone say? We have multiple debuffs going on right now. We have to use legacy mode. We cannot use run. So we have to walk. And we have to take our top and legs off. Good luck us on QBD, I guess. Roll. Eight. Bank stand for two minutes. Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
I've come to talk with you again. Ah, uh, that's not even that good of a reward. We got some super restores, which is decent. Did we get more of the same drop? Uh, those Saradomin brews, I'll take them. The two dose ones. That's what we got. Oh, lovely. Yes. Ah. Uh. That's a lovely drop. 150k raw cash and some super restores. Thank you very much. Oh, first piece of the Royal Crossbow and 150k cash. Take the 150k Royal Frame, boys. Let's go. Did someone say Lantadime Seed? Yeah, boy. So we get to go harvest the Lantadime Seeds here. And that's so useful, not only for the super anti-fires, it's also useful for the overloads. What we lack is extreme defenses. And Lantadimes make the extreme defenses. And we can plant the new Lantadimes and we got... 11 from that one? That's very good. A land to dime seed again? Yeah, boys. Yes, I want my Shard of Zaros back. All right, we'll wear this Shard of Zaros and we'll take the Shard of Zaros to God of Dungeon 1, get some pieces of the next key and get some Alks and buy a Max Cape. So if anything goes bad at QBD and the debuffs are too much and we run out of food, we can just teleport. Sounds good. Panic teleport. So if we attack the spiritual mages and the spiritual warriors and stuff that are all around here, should be able to get a decent amount of money as well as the frozen key piece. And then we'll go to the Zamorak encampment, do warriors there. Look, there you go. First drop, fire battle staff, 8k out, money towards the max cape. Sarah Dobbin key piece achieved. So let's go to the Zamorak one now and see if we can kill some spiritual warriors for some money and get the Sammy a key piece. And we'll just keep doing it for every single one. Get some money, get some key pieces, make the full frozen key. Hopefully we'll have free meal by then. If not, we can go kill some gargoyles. Well, that was a quick frozen key piece, Zamorak. I got that in like, what, 10 kills? My God, that was good. Thank you very much, frozen key piece, Zamorak. Time to go head off to get the bandos one. Frozen key bandos already, boys. That's the third one. Now we just need to go get the armadillo one. Easy game. Frozen key piece, armadillo. Are you serious? Combine frozen key boys and we we barely were here for like what 15 20 minutes. My goodness. That was so lucky <laughs> Okay, let's go to gargoyles get our last meal for our max cape All right finishing our contract we can get 65,000 coins. We're at 2.4 mil. We need to grab another contract We have just over one and a half hours left of day one We can at least try and get some more of the royal crossbow once we have our asylum surgery ring and our max cape Come on. Right, here we go. 65k coins. That's 3.34 mil. We have rune arrows to sell and we have a couple of items to make an elk and that'll be our 3.5 mil needed for our Asylum Surgeon's Ring and Max Cape with the perks in it. Max Cape is only 2.7 mil, but because we have three 99 cape perks in there, we have to buy the 99 capes. So it's three mil. I mean, they don't really sell for much GP, but it's something. And because I'm not going to use them, like 10k is 10k kind of thing. 6k is 6k, you know, like whatever. We're good. So what we're going to do is because we have the max cape and asylum surgeon strings, like I said, I have the free perks in it. This means that there's no point in me you know, taking them all out and buying them again. That means we will be taking out 3.5 mil. Turning that into shards. It's going to take time to turn it into shards anyway. And we're going to have to, like, we'd go buy those and whatever. But it's going to take time to turn it into shards. So the time is pretty much the same. Uh, that way, when they turn into shards, we bank it. We've only got 44k left, so we can't die too much. Let's go. Oh, 40 raw sharks. I'll take that and some rock tails. That's a good kill. Now we have some death money and we have some more super restores to so replenish what we use. Take that money, bank the restores. I'd like my gauntlets back, please. Yes, please. Cooking gauntlets, yeah, boy. Let's wear those, cook those 40 sharks we got. Go back to QBD. Give me my quiver. Yay, all right, quiver four. Imagine just having to take your weapon off as a debuff though. It's so much fun. Ah! <laughs> I just run around. I don't know what to do. Same debuff back to back, did someone say? No weapon, by the way, by the way, by the way. Punch this grot worm in the face! Oh, yeah, that was worth it. Okay, we got it. Okay, Royal Bolt Stabilizer. We've got the frame and the stabilizer. We need two more pieces. That's a good one to end today off. 150k cash. Some rock towels. It's decent for the suppliers. I'm happy. And that will be it for day one, though. Our time has run out. We've done eight hours. We have our Sun Spear. We have our Max Cape with the perks in it. We have our Desert Amulet, a Tramwing Quiver, our Asylum Surgeon's Ring, full Lunars. 
that was a good first day. I, I'm glad that we progressed so well. We have a lot of like herb lore and like overload supplies and stuff as well. So that's pretty good. We just need some food. Need to stock up with some food too. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy day one and there'll be day two tomorrow with day three closely following after that. Do let me know in the comment sections down below if you did enjoy this video and give it a like if you did. Thank you so much and until next time, see ya.